everybody and welcome to Totally Trendy. My name is Sam and today we are continuing our princess theme of the previous video with princess cake pops. If you guys didn't see in the previous video, I tested Disney princess myths in real life, specifically Snow White. It was a lot of fun so be sure you check that video out at the end of this one. But it inspired me to make some Disney princess themed cake pops. Now, I'm gonna make three cake pops themed to a Disney princess and each cake pop is gonna have like a companion cake pop per se that's kind of like themed to that specific princess. It's gonna be a lot of fun. And also, can we talk about my castle, please? I feel like anytime I draw on this chalkboard, I need to dedicate just like five seconds to the chalkboard wall. Now we'll make the cake pops. All right, you guys have seen me make the actual cake pops numerous times in the past, but if you are new here and you just wanna know a little hack way to make cake pops, go to the store and get some cupcakes. Take the icing off of the cupcakes, crumble up the cupcakes together in a big bowl, throw in a little bit of icing again to where you can form a ball, then you just melt some chocolate melts, dip the end of a candy stick in it. Then once you've dipped your lollipop stick into candy melts, you put the cake ball onto the stick and you pop them in the fridge. And that is where we are now. The decorating is the fun part and I know that's the part that you guys want to see. Our first princess is of course going to be Snow White. Let's get decorating. This is going to be the cake pop that is Snow White. I am simply going to make her head. It's a very simple shape and there's not much to it. You just need a skin tone, black for her hair, and red for the bow. Now with these cake pops, similar to the superhero cake pops I did, I am gonna go for more of a cartoon style, which is really great because all these princesses were cartoons. I actually didn't know you could buy fondant in a skin tone shade range, but you can. So now let's just take a very small piece and yes, before you guys ask, I wash my hands before I do this. I need a tiny rolling pin. Maybe a marker will do. We are gonna roll this pretty thin just because you don't want fondant to be too thick, especially when you're gonna layer it. I'm gonna try a different method. Instead of putting it over the top, I am actually going to do it from the bottom. <laughs> because the head is going to be covered with hair. And of course, cut off any excess that you don't need. It looks like a little dumpling cake pop. Oh my goodness. So now that we have the face, I'm going to kind of make some eye indentations just for places to like put the eyes. So I have another little tool. I'm gonna add her nose on like there and then her tiny, tiny lips are just gonna go right underneath. So right now that looks a little scary, not gonna lie, but <laughs> it's okay. Let's add her hair. So here we have a nice little reference photo for her hair. So first, I'm just gonna add like a general piece just to cover like the base of her head. And then we can play with like the bangs and the curls and all that jazz. So again, with fondant, treat it like clay, you know, always like score it, mark it with a little bit of water and indentations if you want it to stick. What I'm doing right now is just kind of going over where the hair is gonna be. And then I'm adding a little bit of water. I'm just gonna put a tiny bit on this piece as well. And then we are just gonna pop it on on. So now we're just gonna do the bangs and you guys are gonna watch a nice little time lapse. So now that we've done kind of the basis of the hair, it is time to add in the red bow. So I'm a little concerned because this fondant um, is like rock hard, but it hasn't been opened. All right. Great. Love that, love that for us. So, we are gonna make a little white bow that we are going to then dye with food coloring. Now that I've made this precious little bow, it is time to add it onto this little headband. Oh my gosh, you guys. Look at how cute that is. It's Snow White. So now, we just get to add really simple features to her face. And here we have our little Snow White. I think she's precious. As I was saying before, we need to make a little companion for Snow White. So something that kind of goes hand in hand with Snow White, in my opinion, is 
an apple. So we are going to make a little red apple cake pop. And this is going to be so easy, especially given the fact that it's a tiny little cake pop. I'm simply rolling out the red fondant that I still have mixed from when we made the bow. So you might be thinking, Sam, um, that doesn't look that good and also doesn't really look like an apple. Well, we're not just trying to make a normal apple. We are, of course, trying to make a poison apple. And this green fondant isn't nearly as hard as the red one, which is really good. So I am making a little skull out of the green to drape over the red. And it will be like the poison apple that Snow White unfortunately ate. So size comparison, yeah, it's, it's a little on the large size, but this is our first little companion piece. Look at them. I'm gonna eat you. No, you really don't want to, but I'm not telling you that because I'm an apple and I also can't talk. So now let's go give our first little cake pops away. Hey, hold this and just vlog for two seconds while I go grab a special treat for you guys. Like how she touched our faces. Well, they don't know that she touched my face. It wasn't on camera. All right, so I haven't vlogged in a while. Welcome back. <laughs> you see my oh. bell on the top of my head? Yes, yeah. I do. And remember that video I filmed the other day? Yeah, the creepy well, one. Well, what? The creepy one where you were a princess and it was actually <laughs> Like, I was not mm. expecting that. Yeah, I was like, the cre I didn't think that was creepy. <laughs> I'm bringing back the theme of that for today's video, and I'm making Disney princess inspired cake pops. Oh my gosh, cake pops. I love it when you make cake. I just want a cake pop. Do you want the princess or the thing that goes with the princess? What does that even mean? The like the dress? The I don't understand. You get the poison apple. Ah. You get Snow White. Oh. Nice! <laughs> I'm just going to take like a whole bite of her face. Is that weird? <laughs> oh my gosh! He just... Oh my goodness! That was so unsettling. That looks so scary. Wait, is that Snow White? No, I'm more. <laughs> <laughs> well, you will enjoy that, Pat. I will. Thank you very much. And Save. that one's poisonous. Bye! <laughs> now onto our next princess who has a lot of hype right now because a movie is coming out fairly soon. We are making Elsa and one of her creations, Olaf. I'm gonna kind of like sculpt her jawline and her cheekbones with the fondant. So first let's just cover her in this really, really pale color fondant. So here we have like the basis of her face. Now, I am going to take a little bit and kind of like give her more of her prominent chin, like so. So now that we have the chin, let's add the nose. Her tiny little nose goes on for days. It's very pointy. Right now, I'm about to take on the braid. I am rolling this white fondant into three fairly thick pieces, and we are just gonna start braiding. This one is getting a little stressful, not gonna lie. Can someone please just tell me where this Elsa cake pop went so horribly wrong? <laughs> it's so scary. I'm really happy with the hair, but everything else like makes me want to cry. But we are going to make her companion and hopefully that is where this video gets saved. Now, Olaf is going to be really simple, I think. Like, look at that little happy face. So let's cover Olaf. I want this to really be smooth. So I'm trying to like tear off as much of this excess fondant as possible. We are going to add kind of the dome part of Olaf right there on top, okay? And now I'm going to kind of add a thicker piece to cover this right here. I think I'm gonna add his eyes. It's just like, yeah, black circle, easy. So we're gonna make these really, really thin just so it doesn't get like too thick, okay. Again, this one looks scary. Why are all of these characters looking scary in cake pop form? So the eyebrows and the little sticks coming out of his head are both brown. All right, so super simple eyebrows. And now I'm just gonna make the nose, add the little twigs, and we will see what else we need to add after that point to make it look more like Olaf. Elsa was so creepy, I think it only makes sense that Olaf turned out just as horrifying. I feel like I'm gonna have to change this title to like accidental making the scariest Disney princess cake pops ever. This is the point in the video where I have to show someone else. Like, I, I don't know what's gonna happen. Hey, Sam. Hey, what? Come with me for two seconds. I need your expert opinion. You know Olaf, right? Yeah, he's the, the joyful little snowman. But do you know his ugly cousin, Olaf? <laughs> <laughs> Wow, dude. <laughs> it looks like a toilet bowl, dude. <laughs> it looks like a toilet with a face on it. We all know Elsa. 
Kelsa. But do you know her ugly cousin, Kelsa? Kelsa. <laughs> <laughs> Who's like Betty White? <laughs> She looks like an anti-smoking Disney ad. What you get on the dating website, what you get in real life. No? All right. <laughs> hey, Pop! You're a big Frozen fan, right? We all know Olaf, but do you know his ugly cousin, Kololoff? Oh my god. <laughs> it's so bad! Good job, Sam. Yeah, I don't know. It's okay. At least Is Elsa, Elsa turned out better. Okay, good. <laughs> No way! Sam! <laughs> I used to be good. I don't Sam. know what happened. Okay. Let it go, Pat! No. Let it go! Well, anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And please, please, please comment down below other princesses you want me to try to not butcher on a cake pop. I promise. It will be better than the Elsa and Olaf one. Mark my words. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!